powerful, impactful, life-changing. This is the teaching ministry of Apostle Faith Manobuera, where supernatural things are happening through the anointed Word of God. This prolific preacher and dynamic teacher of God's Word is changing lives all over the world. Are you ready? Because your life will never be the same. Your success is directly related to your submission to God's Word. We are not here to do what we think or feel. We are here to do what God's word has approved. If you're going to succeed in life, God must come first in everything you do. And faith in God does not fail because its origin is God. Here is Apostle Faith Man Obweda. To God, this is the day the Lord has made. Oh, rejoice and be glad. You're welcome to pray and prophesy to your day. And today we'll be sharing on supernatural thinking will produce supernatural results. There is a kind of thinking that is consistent with who we are in Christ. Our way of thinking should reflect the word of God. We shouldn't think like people who don't have relationship with Jesus. We should think from the word of God. The supernatural thinking is a way of thinking that does not recognize human limitation or position. It is a kind of thinking that manifests the integrity of God's word. It exalts the word of God above measure. This is the kind of thinking that causes you to rise beyond every limitation, every opposition, and every circumstances of life. God didn't want you to think from how you feel or from where you are. He wants you to think from his will, from his word. If your thinking is going to be a supernatural thinking, your thinking must emanate from the word of God. Your thinking has to emanate from God's word. So whenever you see a situation, all you do is to look at the situation from the perspective of God's word. What did the word of God said about the situation should be the focus is not magnifying the situation, but rising above the situation based on the knowledge of the will of God. This is the kind of thinking that helps you to supersede situation and subdue the circumstances that may try to rise against your dream. Supernatural thinking is a kind of thinking that glorifies God. It is a way of thinking that expresses the finished work of Jesus in every aspect of life. It is a way of thinking that reflects the finished work of Jesus in every aspect of life. So God doesn't want me to think from my inability. He wants me to think from the reality of who I am in Christ. God wants me to think from the reality of who I am in Christ. He wants me to think from the perspective of what is available to me in Christ Jesus. This is the kind of thinking that helps you to enjoy the God life in Christ Jesus. God didn't call us into a life of defeat. He didn't call us into a life of limitation. He has called us into a life of power. He has called us into a life of dominion. He has called us into a life of strength. I like us to look at a scripture in Proverbs. Okay, Proverbs. Proverbs 23. In Proverbs 23, hallelujah. And we're going to look at verse 7. In Proverbs 23, and let's look at verse 7. It said, For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. As he thinketh in his heart, he said, so is he. Now, can I say this to us? Can we make the word of God the root of our thinking as a thinker in his heart? So the scripture said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So out of the abundance of the heart, you think. 
out of their if they are out of the abundance of their hearts, the mouth will speak. So out of what you have in your heart, you think. What do you think? You think from his will. You think from his purpose. Out of the abundance of the heart, you think. This is how you think. If you truly want to succeed, if you truly want to reign in life, if you truly want to break forth in life, you got to think from his word. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Out of the abundance of of the heart, we also think whatever that is in your spirit determines what becomes your meditation most of the time. And this is why Paul wrote to Timothy said, study to show yourself approved to God. You know why? Because as he studies God's word, his way of thinking will come from the revelation of the will of God. And if he thinks from the revelation of God's will, what he will see is possibility and no limitation. What he will see is what God is able to do in every situation. You see, your way of thinking has a lot to say about what you believe, what you stand for, and what you want to see. So I want to think from his word. I want his word to determine my way of thinking. I want to show us a scripture. Uh, I don't know scripture. I think this scripture is in Isaiah. Praise the Lord, Isaiah. Glory be to God. You know, God wants us to win in life. God wants us to reign in life. And God wants us to succeed in what he has called us to do. In Isaiah 55, verse 8. Isaiah 55, verse 8, he said, For my thoughts are not your thoughts. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. For my thoughts are are not your thoughts. My thoughts are not your thoughts. You see, this is to let you know there is the God kind of thinking. There is the God thoughts. And his thoughts emanate from his will. He said, he said for my thoughts are not your thoughts. He said, either are your ways, my ways, says the Lord. Verse 9 said, For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. This is powerful. He said, My ways are higher than your ways. If you're going to be strategic in these last days, if you're going to be effective, productive, and maximize the gift of life, you have to think supernaturally. There is what is called the spirit inspired thinking. The race, what is called the spirit inspired thinking. You know, the Holy Ghost could think through us, <laughs> the Holy Ghost could speak to us. A lot of people only know about the Holy Spirit speaking through us, but they don't have the idea that the Holy Ghost can think through you. The Holy Ghost can think through you as you can be able to bring forth supernatural results. He can think through you. He can give you insight, wisdom, inspiration, revelation to deal with the situations of life. So the Spirit of God can think through you. If he can speak through you, he can think through you. He can heal through you. He can minister the miraculous to people through you. This is why the Bible said in Romans 8, 11, a portion of it that said, If the Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he said he will quicken your mortal bodies. You know, the, the Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is able to raise your dream, to raise your vision, to raise your assignment. That same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead has the potential to inspire you to take the lead in the direction of divine purpose. That same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. So he said here when God was sharing, he said, For my thoughts are not your thoughts. So we are called to connect with God's thoughts, God's way of thinking. How does he think? If you look at Genesis chapter 1, Verse 3, verse 2, Genesis 1, verse 2, he said, The edge was without form and void, and darkness upon the face of the deep. 
in Genesis 1 verse 2, he said the earth was without form and void and darkness upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God moved. Now we notice that the spirit moved. The next thing we saw, and God said, let there be light. Do you know, we think before we speak. If you want to be a great person of faith, you have to think before you speak. Because if you don't think before you speak, then you will speak based on what you're going through on the situation around you. But we'll think it, then we'll declare it. This is why meditating on the word of God is the key to the declaration of God's word. Meditating on God's word is the key to the declaration of God's word. So we think about it first and then we say it. So he said, as a man thinketh, so is he, because you're going to speak according to how you think. If you think possibility, you are going to see possibility. If you think victory, you're going to see victory. As you think, so determine your future. Your future is rooted in your thinking system. Your future is rooted in your thinking system, the way you think. This is why the scripture said, as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. So your way of thinking shapes your world, shapes your future, shapes your dreams, shapes your destiny. Your way of thinking, your way of thinking, it has a lot to do with your future. It has a lot to do with your dream, with your calling, with your assignment, your way of thinking. There is a way you think. You rise above the limitation. You rise above the circumstances. You rise above the challenges of life. The way you think. How you think makes all the difference. This is what helps you to take the lead. And God wants your thinking to originate from the revelation of his will. The reason for that is, if God's will determines how you think, nothing can be impossible to you. You don't see limitation. You don't see limitation. What you see is possibility because your way of thinking is, uh, is based on God's word and because it's based on God's word, it's higher than what you're going through. So what you're going through cannot defeat your destiny because you have a revelation beyond your situation. And what God wants you to do is to have the revelation of his will and let your thinking come from that will. And if your thinking comes from the will of God, you will not be frustrated by the things you hear because when the doctor said there is no hope, you have read in the scripture, he took my infirmity, so there is hope. Medically has no answer. But by revelation, you saw the victory. The banker said there is no way to finance the mortgage. But he had a revelation, there is a river. And because there is a river, there is a provision. He said, your way of thinking, if it comes from the word of God, it, it will always subdue the limitations that try to oppose you. There are limitations trying to oppose you. There are situations that are trying to oppose you. Things that said you can't do this, you can't have this, you can't have that, you can't do this. So but when you begin to have the revelation of his will, which determines your thinking, then you rise above it. This is why Jesus walked on the sea. He was in thinking. He has rise above nature. He has exceeded nature. He's no more in the realm where nature controls him. And we can get to that point where we are no longer in the realm where nature controls us because we understood the energy that flows through our faith work. We are no more there where nature controls us so we can speak and see results. We can speak and see manifestation. He said, this sign shall follow them that believe in my name that will cast that devil. It's a revelation that can determine your thinking. You know, it, it, when I believe that these signs will follow me. So when I speak, I expect results. When I speak, I expect healing. When I speak, I expect supernatural results. When I speak, I expect supernatural results. When I speak, I expect encounter, I expect visitation, I expect miracle signs and wonder. My thinking comes from the Word of God. It comes from God's Word. My thinking comes from God's Word. My thinking shouldn't come from my feeling. My thinking should come from the revelation of his will. And God is saying to us right now, change your way of thinking. 
it begins with knowing who you are in Christ. Then you begin to speak with authority. Then you will not be scared of situations. Whether it's a financial situation, uh, whether it's a, a spiritual situation, whatever the situation is, you will not be scared because you have a revelation of his will coming forth to you and you can make a huge progress in your calling because you understand the will of God, you understand the word of God and you're allowing God's word to take the lead in all aspects of your life. And the spirit of God is saying to us right now, you got to stay with the word. You got to stay with the word. You know, when Paul was writing to Timothy, he said, study, study, study. Because in the course of study, you receive inspiration, you receive insight, you receive understanding that can empower you to make a difference friends in your walk with God and there is someone watching this broadcast right now all you need is to get into the word of God and begin to meditate on the scripture and begin to think the scripture and if the thinking of the word of God is your focus then you will break out of this limitation you will break out of this crisis all things are possible to him that believe all things are possible he said, with God, nothing shall be impossible. It's a kind of thinking. When you hear, with God, nothing shall be impossible. That is a supernatural thinking. With God, nothing shall be impossible. Not with men, not with people. He said, with glory be to God. Supernatural thinking, the key to supernatural results. If we are truly going to excel in what God has called us to do, our way of thinking has a lot to do with it. And a lot of people are expecting results in their jobs, results in their relationship. But their way of thinking betrays their way of communication. You know, well, uh, thinking is one of the ways we communicate. We can uh, communicate through words and we can communicate through thoughts. So if my prayer is not consistent with my way of thinking, I'm going to abort my manifestation. If your way of praying is not consistent with your thinking, you will have bought your manifestation. This is why the scripture said, as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. So a lot of people pray, they pray to see result, which is very good, but in their thinking, they are bought the manifestation because in their thinking, they doubt the word. In their thinking, they doubt the reality of the integrity of God's word. They said, well, I don't know what is going to happen. Right. Right inside of them, they are thinking in possibility, and the external, they are speaking possibility. So there is a contradiction. This is why the scripture said, if you can say to this mountain, be there, remove, and doubt not in your heart. Because when you say doubt not in your heart, it's a thinking process. When you say doubt not in your heart, it's a thinking process because someone can doubt. He's, he, he's speaking be healed, but internally he has doubted the reality. He has doubted the manifestation of God's word. So this is why we need to begin to think supernaturally. And like I said from the onset, that for we to think supernaturally, we need to plant the word of God in our spirit. We have to plant God's word in our spirit because when the word of God is planted in your spirit, it empowers you to see things from the perspective of God's will, which is an indication of supernatural thinking. It empowers you to see things from the perspective of his will, which is, an, which is an indication of supernatural thinking. When you begin to live from the perspective of God's word, it's a proof that you're thinking supernatural. And it is supernatural thinking that leads to supernatural result. We we'll begin to see manifestation far beyond our human ability, potential, and capacity. We we'll begin to see amazing results. We we'll begin to do things that is far beyond our human strength. In the natural, there may be limitation, but supernaturally we win. In the natural, there may be limitation, but supernaturally we win. In the natural, there may be limitation. In the natural, there may be some crisis, some challenges, some problem. In the natural, there may be some crisis, some challenges. But if you stand on God's word, if you believe God's word, if you make the word of God the focus of your life, you will reign in life. You will reign in life. You will succeed in life. You will reign in life. So God wants you to think based on his word. No matter what you're going through right now, if you can see it from the perspective of his will, you will rise above the storm. Thinking supernaturally, putting God's word first in your way of doing things is an indication that you're thinking supernaturally. 
put in the word of God first. Those who put God's word first in their action, in their decision, in the conversation, is a proof that they are operating from a supernatural dimension. Because they are exalting God's word above what they are going through. That was why he said, in my name you will cast the devils. That is supernatural. That is why he said, this sign shall follow them that believe. That is supernatural. That was why he said, you will speak with new tongues. That is supernatural. That, that was why I said you will lay your hands on the sick and they will recover. That was supernatural. <laughs> All of those things he said was supernatural. So he wants us to think from that dimension. He wants our way of thinking to be rooted in his will. Because if your way of thinking is rooted in his will, you will rise above the shame of life. If your way of thinking is rooted in his will, you will rise above the shame of life. You will rise above the pain of life. It doesn't matter the pain that is trying to come against you or the pain that is trying to humiliate you or the opposition. Think supernaturally. Think possibility. Don't say it's not possible. Make sure your thinking is consistent with your declarations. Make sure you don't think contrary to what you're saying. Don't be saying something X and you're believing something X. No. Make sure that what you believe and what you say is the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and for that to be a reality, then we'll have to renew our mind with God's word. So one of the keys to thinking supernaturally is to renew your mind with the word of God. Renewing the mind is a major responsibility of the believer. You got to renew your mind. In Romans 12, verse 2, he said, Be not conformed to this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. He said, Be not conformed to this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. Philippians 2, verse 5, he said, Let this mind be in you that is in Christ Jesus. Let this mind be in you that is in Christ Jesus. If this mind of Christ is not in you, you can't reign supernaturally. This is what it takes. Tapping into the reality of the mind of Christ. Let this mind be in you that is in Christ Jesus. This is the doorway to thinking supernaturally. Hallelujah. Now, in Acts chapter 3, we saw Peter and his friend John. They were going to the temple during the hour of prayer. And they saw this man at the beautiful gate. But the situation was not beautiful. And the man was expecting to get something from them. And Peter said, Siva, and go on a half. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. That's not common thinking. That is supernatural thinking. Producing supernatural results. Because you have to think it before you do it. You got to think it before you say it. It must be in you before you can bring it out. You can bring out what is not in you. That was why I said out of the abundance of the heart that I speak at. Because it's what you have in you that you begin to declare. That's what you begin to speak. That's what you begin to expect to work. And there is someone watching this broadcast today. And the Holy Spirit is saying, get the word into your spirit. Then think the word then speak the word. That is an act of supernatural living. That is an act of supernatural living. When God's word takes the very foundation of your life, take lay hold of the very foundation of your life, and you see yourself excelling, supernatural thinking will lead to supernatural results. Supernatural thinking will lead to supernatural results. Do you want to see supernatural results? Do you want to see great things happen? Then change the way you think. Make God's word your final authority when it comes to what you believe and think. Stand on the word of God and then see the results. Comfort. Joseph was thinking supernaturally. Daniel was thinking supernaturally. Daniel was in Babylon, but Babylon was not in Daniel. These men were men who operate from a supernatural dimension. That was why they subdued nations, took cities, took nations, made a difference because they were men of the spirits. He said in Daniel chapter 1 verse 8, And Daniel proposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with a portion of the king's mate. First he thought it, then he acted. This is how you reign in life. This is how you reign in life. Supernatural thinking. 
all things are possible. The birth of Jesus was supernatural. The prophetic word that came concerning his birth was supernatural. Said to Mary, you will have a son. In Luke chapter 1 verse 45, he said, Blessed is she that believe there shall be performances of these things toward her from the Lord. Blessed is she that believe there will be performances of these things toward her from the Lord. Because in the natural, you can only not be able to do that or see that. But when you lock into the realm of faith, faith is supernatural. Faith is supernatural because it is action in the direction of the revealed word of God. Faith is action in the direction of the revealed word of God. Faith becomes effective when you have the revealed word. Then you're, you're moving based on the understanding of the word of God. If you're watching this broadcast today and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you can make the difference today by thinking supernaturally. It begins with receiving Jesus into your life and then watch the atmosphere and the cloud around you change. Can you say this after me if you want to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Lord Jesus, I confess with my mouth, I believe in my heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead. Thank you, Father, for saving me. Amen. If you pray this prayer with us, you have made a very great decision to make a difference with your life. And right now, we encourage you to listen to the Holy Spirit and He's going to lead you. And you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Is Faith Man Teaching on YouTube. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel, Is Faith Man Teaching on YouTube. And also, you can watch us every day, 24-7 on finishwaptv.com. You can watch us every day, 24-7 at finishwaptv.com. We encourage you to keep watching finishwaptv.com and tell more people about finishwaptv.com. And also, you can send us friends' requests on Facebook. On Facebook is Faith Man of Weather or Faith Man of Weather Ministry. You can connect with us and you will never remain the same. Well, finally, we also encourage you that if this ministry has been a blessing to you by bringing forth God's word to you, we would like you to consider partnering with us. Partnership is the pathway to taking this message to more people around the world. And you can do that on PayPal. It's Faith Man Teaching at gmail.com. Thank you for viewing this broadcast and don't ever forget this, there is greatness in you.